So Fearless has 9.2 million subscribers, tens of millions of views per video, and maybe only uploads a few times a year. But with these insane effects I'm about to show you, I understand why. What you looking at, bro? Look away. Look away. Yeah, we got this. Bruh. That's it. Let's go. So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do some of these insane fearless effects. The predecessor to this video was actually the most viewed video on this channel, so I was like, hey, you should probably make a part two. You know, I think I'm going to make a part two. And this part two has a way for you to make your videos more interesting and terrifying, a simple but effective transition. And then lastly, we're going to have some rainbow goo goo text. Yeah, I called it rainbow goo goo text. When we call it color shifting text, I think rainbow goo goo is the better option here. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I make the best content on YouTube to help you guys make content the way that you want to make it. And later on, if you think I'm not doing a good enough job, unsubscribe and let me know that I suck down in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and get started with this first effect, our Slight shake. Now the slight shake effect is really simple to do, but I think it does a very effective job at keeping a very static clip interesting. So for example, right now, Fearless is just sitting on the Fortnite main menu, and typically this would be a pretty boring clip, but by adding the slight shake effect, it gives the clip some movement and helps keep the audience engaged. Now to do this slight shake, all you're gonna need is an adjustment layer and one effect on that adjustment layer. So let's go ahead and grab an adjustment layer out of our project files. To make one, all you do is come down here to new item, go to adjustment layer, make sure it's at 60 frames per second if that's why you're you're editing with hit ok grab that new adjustment layer we just made and then drag it over your clip next go to the effects in the top right and look for an effect called transform you're going to find it under video effects and distort so go ahead and grab transform and drag it onto that adjustment layer next go to the effects controls in the top left and scroll down to your transform also make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the transform now to begin with this effect make sure to go ahead and hit the stopwatch next to position and rotation next go ahead and move your playhead roughly 25 frames forward it doesn't have to be 25 exactly but somewhere around there also we're only going to be messing with with the X position, so go ahead and change that next keyframe to 965. After that, go ahead and set your position to 0 0.5. Yeah, so I meant rotation, not position. Sorry about that. Also, while you're here, go ahead and hit the stopwatch next to scale and change that value to 105. Next, we're going to be making three more sets of keyframes, but to save you guys some time, basically plug in these values here. Once again, we're only messing with the X value for position, so that Y value should stay at 140 this whole time. Now, once you've made all these keyframes, you're going to want to go ahead and select all of your position and rotation keyframes frames. After you've done this, right click on one of your keyframes, go to temporal interpolation, and then go down to bezier. And if you need this effect to last longer, all you're going to need to do is copy these keyframes. So go ahead and select all of these keyframes, except for those original two keyframes, because it's going to mess up with the motion a little bit. Then right click on it, go to copy, move your playhead to roughly about the same spacing these other keyframes have, and hit control V. Then essentially you're just going to copy these keyframes as long as you want this effect to last. And then one more thing, if you want to add just a little bit of spicy, spicy spice to this effect, Effect, go ahead and go down here to this use composition shutter angle uncheck that box and then change your shutter angle value to 150 by doing this whenever your video is slowly shaking back and forth it's gonna add just a smidgen of motion blur and make it that much better now compared to fearless's slight shake these things are like <laughs> they're they're one in one you can hardly tell them apart they're obviously gonna be a little bit different but it's basically the same effect all around and if you want to adjust how fast or slow your video is shaking all you need to do to go back to those keyframes we made and adjust the space in between them if you have more more space it's going to be slower less space it's going to be faster and then you can do this until your heart's content now our next effect is extremely similar to that last one because it's basically the same effect <laughs> but it's used in a completely different way. Essentially, we're gonna have this slight shake going on, but we're also gonna add this like flickering effect to the video. I think if you pair this with some really scary or dramatic music, it's gonna make your video a lot more terrifying. So if you wanna scare your audience or add some dramatic effect, I think this effect is perfect. So since this effect is basically the same one, all I did was copy over that adjustment layer that we just made, and all we're gonna do is add one more effect to that adjustment layer to make this flicker effect. After you copy that adjustment layer over, just go to the effects in the top right and look for an effect called levels. You're gonna find it under video effects and adjust and then drag that levels onto that adjustment layer. Then go to the effects controls in the top right, scroll down a little bit, and there are gonna be a lot of options here, but we're only gonna be messing with one of them. So go ahead and stare at this RGB gamma because it's, like I said, the only thing we're gonna be messing with. Now go ahead and hit the stopwatch next to RGB gamma, and the first value you're gonna to wanna to set is 110. I also suggest zooming in a bit so you can actually see what you're doing. But next you're gonna go down on your keyboard and hit that 
that right arrow key four times. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, and that moves us four frames forward. Once you've done this, go ahead and hit that add keyframe button. Then you're gonna hit that arrow key on your keyboard to the right one more time. After that, change your gamma value to 90. Now, all we're gonna do is exactly what we just did. So we're gonna go to the right four times. So one, two, three, four, make a 90 keyframe, go to the right one more time. And then this time we're gonna make it 100. Next, one, two, three, four frames ahead, make another keyframe, one frame ahead, and then set gamma to 85. This is gonna be the last time you go forward, but you go one, two, three, four, and then you make an 85 keyframe. Now, once you've done this, this is essentially the whole effect. Then you just copy all these keyframes for as long as you want that flicker to last. Also, make sure to save it as a preset so you don't have to go back and do all this again. Then there you go, you essentially have two effects for the price of one. Two effects that are similar, but can, but can, but, 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 but why can't I say that? But can, but, but, but can, two effects that are similar, but can be used, but can be used in different ways. There we go. Now next up is gonna be this no signal transition. It's extremely quick, like 10 frames quick, but I think it's a good twist on a simple transition that a lot of people use. Go ahead and grab that adjustment layer that we made earlier and drag it over this graphic. Next, go back to the effects in the top right and look for that effect transform. Go ahead and drag that onto that adjustment layer we just had. Then go to the effects controls and transform. Now to begin this effect, go ahead and uncheck that use composition shutter angle and then change your shutter angle value to 30. After that, go ahead and the stopwatch next to position scale and rotation. Now essentially for this effect, Fearless will zoom into a specific spot and then rotate it a little bit and then the very next frame he finds a completely new spot that he zooms in on and rotates a different way. He takes that same concept and then does it for 10 separate frames. Now if you guys want to know the exact values that I used, here they are on screen. Basically I just made five different keyframes that are zoomed in at different points and then duplicated it to make a total of 10 frames. If you want to make this effect tailored to you a little bit more personally, just go in there, choose some random values and have some fun with it. Maybe you want to do a different angle maybe you want to add some chromatic aberrations to this to make it look cooler or maybe a vr glow all those things will add some nice touches and make this effect your own and then here you go when you're comparing these two effects side by side clearly they're not the exact same effect but i think that's important you don't need to copy somebody one for one have a little creativity have some fun and make this effect your own then for our third and final effect it's going to be this color shifting text once again it's pretty simple to do so let's go ahead and knock it out now for this effect we're gonna need some text so let's go ahead and hit the t key and then click anywhere in your preview window. And for the sake of the effect, let's just, you know, say what Fearless says. Yeah, psych, bro. You think we're gonna copy him? One for one? No, we're different. We're creative here. We don't even use smiley faces. Who uses smiley faces? It's boring. Use a winky face. Then make sure to cut this down. We're not going to need the whole thing. Just make it last however long you want the effect to last. Now, once you've added your text to the timeline, go ahead and go to the effects in the top right, and you're going to look for an effect called 4 dash color gradient. You're going to find it under video effects and generate, then go ahead and drag it on top of that text. So like it says, it's a four color gradient, but we only want one color. So we have to get rid of three of those. Now to do this, you go over to the preview window and you find this little drop down menu that'll say fit or zoomed into whatever percent you have it on your Premiere Pro. Uh, I like to go ahead and zoom into 10%. Once once you're zoomed out this far, just grab three of these color gradients and drag them off into like nowhere, basically. You don't want them anywhere near your preview window, then you just drag this one into the center. Once you do this, you can go back into your fit screen or your whatever percent you use. After you've done that, go back to the effects controls and find the color that the color of your text is. That's going to be that one gradient that we left in the middle. And then you're going to want to hit the stopwatch next to that gradient. If you want to copy these colors exactly, what I did is I basically went frame by frame with Fearless's video right under it. I clicked on the eyedropper tool, then clicked on Fearless's text to grab the color from that and then moved on to the next frame. But I realize that's not so easy if you guys don't have the video file. So here are all the color codes I used. And yes, it took me a long time to copy these. If you want to copy these in one by one, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can just choose some random colors. It's really not that big of a deal what you choose. But just a suggestion, you could, you know, use some different colors, have some individuality, be a little creative on your own, you know, just a little suggestion. Maybe do that just a little bit, just a little bit, yeah maybe a little bit and there you go you have four different fearless effects i think all of these turned out pretty well and close to the original but i highly suggest you guys take these effects add your own touch on them and make them your own be a little creative don't look to be the next fearless look to be the next you also if you like this video make sure to hit like and subscribe let me know how you felt about it down in the comments below and until next time peace if i don't hit the table i hit my i hit my desk on a daily basis dude we're having earthquakes over here freaking earthquakes